Hey guys, today we're gonna to be trying out the Scott Barnes method. If you don't know who he is, he is JLo's makeup artist. And he was also recently featured on Tati's channel. Highly recommend you check those videos out. I feel like I learned so much. And basically one of the key things to the Scott Barnes method is applying your highlight and contour before your foundation, among many other things. So I thought it'd be fun to give that a try today because it's not really a technique that I've used before, but I'm also gonna be putting my own spin on it because obviously I'm not a full glam girl and I wanna be able to wear this makeup, you know, like outside of the house. So in the video where he did this technique on Tati, did concealer first in this area as well as the chin and alongside the nose. And he used one of these like flat top foundation brushes to kind of pat that out. He put some like on her forehead as well, but I'm just gonna skip that for now because again, I'm trying to do a little bit less just to be wearable. Next he took one of these like kind of skinny flat contouring brushes. This one's just from e.l.f. and his uh, contouring product, which he used the Krylon, I think that's how you say it, um, stick, but this one's just Anastasia in the shade Fawn. Now, one tip that he did give, which I thought was totally genius and made sense, is he didn't want her to go like this in the video because that would change her like jawline for when she's actually doing this step. So just kind of have your head naturally resting. That way you can see exactly what you're chiseling. And he also brought that down a little bit as well. Now we're going to go in with the cheekbones, which he kind of curved up near the ends. And this is something that I have done before as well. If you haven't seen my how to fake cheek filler uh, with makeup video, I'll link that up here. But basically going at kind of a rounded edge, almost like a Nike check mark, really helps to lift those cheeks. Okay, now he does a nose contour that I'm never gonna be able to replicate because my nose is so not straight, but he'll just do a little mini contour. I like to shadow across my nose, by the way, just because I think that helps bring my strong bridge like back a little bit. Then he takes a similar type of brush that I just used for my nose and he outlines the lips in contour as well, which I think is very interesting. And I feel like I've seen Kim Kardashian do this as well. Oh my God, I look ridiculous. Okay. And I'm just gonna use like a lightweight foundation because I do want my contour to actually show through. So I'm gonna use a mix of my Pixi H2O Skin Tints in the lightest shade and then also the medium shade. I've done like a pump and a little bit of the light shade and then just like a little bit of the medium shade to give myself some like bronziness. I don't know if you saw that video with Tati, but he basically <laughs> painted a tan on her. So I'm just taking a little bit on my stippling brush and he kind of just went all over. And around the lips, just a stamping motion. This looks kind of amazing. Like, let's get up close here. This contour looks so blended and natural. Just like also side note, if you've never tried these Pixie H2 Skin Tints and you like a very natural, light, literally looks like skin coverage, 
just Mm, so good. So the next step that he did was bake under the eyes and like powder some of the, the face and I'm just going to skip that part because like I said, I'm going for a more natural everyday version and he really stresses that the look that he's doing on Tati is really meant for like the stage and on film. So I'm just going to go in with some powder bronzer. This is from the Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I feel like it's pretty old. This shade, which I think is probably a highlighter, but for me it's a bronzer with this deep shade over here on kind of like a big fluffy Sigma F30 brush. So one thing that he emphasized was cream blush for this look. So I'm going to be using this Stila convertible color in the shade Camellia. Camellia? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's just this really nice natural dark pinky nude. Very, very lightly. And I always like to do a little bit of blush across the nose, so I'm gonna do that. Wow! So he did go in with some highlight. I honestly don't think that I want to do highlight. I think if I was going out for like an evening event, I probably would add it. I think this NARS Fort de France, Fort de France, Port de France would be so so beautiful with this look but I feel like I'm just like naturally glowing enough right now for like an easy daytime look. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of elf clear brow gel. I actually tinted my brows yesterday so I don't really need much filling in and just a little bit of this covergirl clump crusher mascara and this is in the black brown shade which just gives everything a more soft look. And I'm going in with a nude lip liner. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. On me, it's like my perfect, my lips but better. And on the center of my lips, I'm gonna do my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London, which is just like, a very basic nude. Okay, maybe just like a little bit of highlight. I absolutely love how this turned out. I mean, my overall makeup isn't really that much different from how it normally looks, but doing that contouring and highlighting underneath my foundation I feel like really, really, really made a difference. My jawline looks pretty sharp. My cheekbones look very carved, but everything looks so blended. Obviously I went in like a lot lighter hand than he did. And obviously I don't have the eyeshadow and the lashes and the gloss and all the fix-ins. But I took his techniques and took what I learned and turned it into something that I am totally fine with wearing to the grocery store. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this was enjoyable. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You can always subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.